Hey everybody, Brandon here from Cat Intentions, and in today's video, we're taking a look at Cadacio, a super simple way to create animated instructions and manuals from your parts and assemblies, regardless of which software you've created them in. Cadacio is going to allow you to animate and create vibrant manuals that are easy to use and share online, and it's free for personal use. Uh, I think you guys are going to really like this one. Before we jump in, I want to say thank you to Cadacio for sponsoring today's video. If you like what you see, don't forget to click that link up above or down below to check them out and get the free add-in for personal use right now. All right, let's go. Getting started is as simple as adding the appropriate add-in or plugin to your supported software, which you can get at the Cadacio website and choosing the CAD add-ins tab. I've added the Cadacio add-in to Onshape here, selecting it by choosing the plus sign and applications, then Cadacio loads it in. You're able to choose the Onshape part or element that you would like to build your new manual and instruction from. In my case, we've chosen a default or typical suspension assembly for, say, an upper and lower A-arm. This has now loaded into Cadacio, and we're now bringing it up within the Onshape software. You can see down below that we've got the Cadacio tab. I'm just showing that you can change up the different display styles, including adding and removing edges, changing the different finishes, things like metallic, glossy, technical, or matte, which is the one I've preferred while using the software so far. It has a good feel of kind of cartoony yet realistic. You're also able to add the silhouette as I've shown there, along with other settings like changing up your scene. You're able to navigate and rearrange and rotate your part just as if you were using Onshape or say Fusion. Once you've kind of found your starting point and the way you like your part looking in the instruction or manual, you're ready to start by adding your first step. This is gonna kind of freeze frame the object or part as it's shown on your screen and allow you to start building out the different steps that you're trying to explain in your instructions or manual. This could be anything from disassembling or assembling parts like say Ikea furniture or as many of you with kids may have found building Lego. It has a similar setup and can direct you as you build or set up your part. You can see I've just created a new step by clicking the button up along the top. You can give it a name, choose the step behavior. In my case, I've paused it at each step and clicked create. Now you can use the selection tree along the right to select any parts in your assembly, move them and adjust as needed, and then clicking the create step again is going to freeze frame where we're at. So you can now step from one to the next movement and continue this process until you've built out an instruction to assemble or build your product. Once complete, you're then able to add a variety of additional information like arrows, callouts, leaders, tables, and various other animations, images, videos, anything you need to build a full-fledged instruction manual for your model. This is going to save you a ton of time and it's also very intuitive and user friendly. I was able to create this in real time in probably about 10 to 15 minutes. This is sped up a little bit with a few things cut out along the way for time saving. But in general, anybody can pick this up even if you're not familiar with many of the 3D software features since this is basically just moving and assembling parts and selecting them as you go. You can also use this without the actual software installed, say like Fusion or Inventor, by using the Cadacio software on their website. Now you can see I've got the final step here. My parts have all been disassembled and say blown up. Now I'm gonna go along and add from the toolbox some call out item numbers. This could correlate to say a parts list at the back of your manual or a table that you could paste in as an image onto your screen right now. Adding these only takes a few seconds and it dynamically links to the parts that you're choosing. As you'll see, you can have different callouts for each 
different part within each assembly, making this super quick and easy, especially if you've already set up your drawing. You can then change and edit these numbers as needed to fully describe your product, as well as the assembly instructions and process. Another great feature I found when using Cadasio is that it is dynamically linked to your, say, on shape assembly and parts. Changes like, say, adding additional holes or additional bolts or screws will be updated automatically and live to your Cadasio instructions. This can save a ton of time when you have iterations or product changes throughout the process and you can see that this is all very intuitive. Whether you've used Onshape before or any software, this is going to become very easy to pick up and get using right away. Publishing your finished instructions is as easy as clicking on the tools and choosing your published type. You can publish to images or video PDF or online, which I liked, setting these, setting up your settings here allows you to change your width and size as well as whether you want the instructions to auto start. Publishing them with just a few clicks provides you with the URL, which you can instantly go to in a new browser and see your finished instructions online. This link can then be shared with your clients or internal team for review and changes or to send out in say a QR code with your product for easy assembly. If you'd like to get started and try Cadasio out right now, you can for free using that link up above and down below for personal projects. As you can see on their showcase page here with a ton of examples, you can use this for anything from furniture to Lego assemblies, bike parts to coffee makers. Whether you're trying to explain how to disassemble or assemble an object or simply how to use an object or product, I think Cadasio could really help you out. It's super easy to use and I've been really enjoying using it. If you have any questions at all, feel free to leave them down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer or reach out for the answer. As I mentioned, I've enjoyed using this and I could definitely see this being beneficial for many of you, especially if you're into 3D modeling and creating your own products and selling them online. Having this seamless instruction manual available at the click of a link is a really cool selling feature and I highly recommend it. I want to say thank you again to Cadasio for sponsoring today's video and I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!